Hey everyone and welcome to another session of Serratal Dazzle Physics. In today's session guys we're going to be talking about electric fields guys. So put down today's title it's going to be electric fields. Right so before we get going make sure you hit the like and subscribe button to keep my channel going and keep my content as free as possible. Right so let's get straight into it. What exactly is an electric field? So what is an electric field? Right guys, over here you can see I've drawn a proton, yeah? So here's a proton guys, hopefully you've seen this in your chemistry class guys. It's found inside an atom guys, especially in the nucleus guys. So the proton is positively charged over here, that's why I've got the big plus sign over here. The electric field is this. The electric field is in a region around the proton in which it can influence other charged particles. I know there's a lot of words there, so I've just drawn that little thing around it right now in yellow, guys, to give you the idea that it's the region around it. So imagine right now the proton is my fist right now. It's the region around it, guys, in which another charged particle can experience a force. Let me put down that formal definition for you. There we go, guys. You can see at the top, guys, an electric field is a region in space in which a charged particle experiences a force. So it's this region within this yellow region here. Right, okay, so it doesn't actually look like the yellow region. What it looks like is the following. So there are things called electric field lines, which we use to uh, represent the field. So the electric field lines, they look like this. We can draw them using arrows, guys. So the red lines are the electric field lines over here. This is for a positively charged particle, guys, for a positively charged particle. Uh, obviously, guys, in the exam, you must be using a ruler for this, guys. And obviously, look... Uh, I've tried to draw them like they're all equally spaced guys. They're not too clustered in one region over here So as you can see the arrows are going away from a positively charged particle over here. So there we go um, Okay, right. So you might be wondering why is it that the arrows are going away from the object? Why is it that the arrows are going away from the object? It's because of this. Let's say if I was to put a positively charged particle here Where would it go? Well look Obviously, there's a big positive charge here, and this one's a small one. Both of them are the same charges, so obviously that will be repelled away. So it would move in the same direction as that field line over here, because it would move away from the other charged particle over here. That's the reason why. So the direction of the field lines shows you the direction in which a positively charged particle would move. So let's put that down here. Okay, there you go guys, we can see it in green. The direction of the field lines is such that it shows you the direction that a positively charged particle would move within that field. Notice the positively charged particle would move in the same direction as those field lines, guys. Excellent stuff, guys. So make sure that we're happy with those two things over here. Fantastic, let's move on to the following. Drawing electric fields for positively and negatively charged objects, guys. So we did it for a positively charged object. We know that the arrows go away from it, guys, yes? But for a negatively charged object, the arrows go into it, guys. The arrows go into it here. So here I've got two objects over here. This one is positively charged. This one is negatively charged. Right, if I was to draw the first field, guys, we already know that it moves away, guys. It moves away. The arrows are going away. Don't forget, guys, you, you, I'm using my tablet here, so it's not perfect. Obviously, in the exam, guys, you make sure that you use a ruler, guys, and your arrows are clear. Um, make sure the lines don't cross as well, guys. So, obviously, this is the best way. If you look at your text, we've got to you the correct uh, version of it, but it's roughly the same here. Right, obviously, because the arrow's going away, because a positively charged particle would move in that direction. If it's a negatively charged particle, obviously, what are we going to do now? Well, don't think too much, guys, but the arrows are going to flip the direction. So the arrows go into it now. There we go. Two, three, four, five. Okay, they're not, it's not perfect arrows. Six, seven, eight. There we go. So there's our arrows going into this one over here. Make sure you're happy with this. The reason why the arrows are going into, don't forget these are straight lines. Yes, I haven't been able to draw them with a, a ruler, guys. But they would move into the negatively charged object over here. Don't forget, if I was to place a positively charged object over here, it would move towards a negative. Why? Opposites attract. That's the reason why the arrows go inwards. And obviously, like the previous one, which you did earlier on, it's positive because it would be repelled away. That's the reason why it would be repelled away. Fantastic stuff. Okay, there's one more thing, guys. 
radial fields and uniform fields, guys. Right, so there are two types of electric fields, guys. One of them is a radial field and one of them is a uniform field. Radial, you should be thinking of the word radius, which is meaning round, yes, or spherical. So this one is a radial field, guys. Look carefully, it's a radial field. Imagine it in 3D, everyone, yeah? Imagine it in 3D. Imagine I had a, a, an object in my hand which was positively charged. The arrows would go away from it in radially going away. So this is a radial one over here. Uh, the other, and uh, I'm going to just label this one positive still. This one's a positive one. But the uniform one, guys, is a bit different. The uniform, uh, think of school uniform, guys. It's not going to have uh, arrows like this, which are, let's be honest, they're closest at the center. Yes, but they're further and further away later on. So in a uniform field, guys, let's say we have this bar and it's positively charged over here. The bar is positively charged, this one on the left-hand side. And the one on the opposite side over here is negatively charged over here. This one is negatively charged over here. Right, which way are the field lines going to go now? How would I draw the field lines? Don't forget, the direction of the field lines is such that it would show you the direction a positive charge would move. So a positive charge would move across, wouldn't it? Because it would be attracted to the negative. So my field lines are going like this. So for the uniform field, guys, my field lines are going like this. Excellent stuff here. So this is the uniform one. Uh, and towards the edge, guys, there's, there is an edge effect, guys. So you will see it curve looking like that as well, guys. Yeah, so if you see in the book, the edges will curve round, guys, for the edge effect. Easy stuff here. Okay, so let's have a quick summary before we go, guys, of everything we've covered so far. So today's title was Electric Fields, guys. An electric field is the following. An electric field is a region in space in which a charged particle experiences a force. The direction of the field is such that it shows you the direction that a positively charged particle will move within the field. So here we go, guys. Here's the proton in the center, positively charged. And look, the field lines are going away from it, guys. The field lines are going away from it. Scrolling down, guys, as you can see over here, I've got a positively charged particle and a negative one. For the positively charged particle, guys, we know the arrows are going away from it, guys, yes? And for the negatively charged particle, guys, the arrows are going into it, guys. Don't forget, use a ruler in the exam and make sure they're equally spaced around the object, guys. Obviously, I've done it very rushed, but I'm trying to draw it on the tablet over here. Okay, and finally, guys, we talked about radial and uniform fields, guys. This one is the radial one, which we've drawn now a couple of times. And this one is the uniform one, guys, over here. Don't forget, guys, the uniform one and the radial one still have the same rule, that it shows you the direction in which a positively charged particle would move. Because if you place that positively charged particle over here, don't forget it would move to the negative and be repelled from the positive. Yeah, and therefore it makes sense. And that's it for another session in Sarazzle Dazzle Physics. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe button to keep my channel going, and good luck in your studies. Ciao, ciao, and goodbye.